How to create a UVC light box for $35. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. On a previous video people were asking how I made my germicidal sterilizing UVC light box. So that's what this video is going to be about. Step one, you're going to want to get a medium size box from Home Depot or Lowe's. I found that the medium is the perfect size, the small is too small and the large is too large. Next, you want to cut one side of the box open and then spray paint the inside with a metallic reflective spray paint. You can get this for about $5 and that will help for the UVC light to bounce around and reach more angles uh, for the products that you're going to be putting inside the box. Next, you can tape the side of the box so you create a little hinge for a door and you can use a rubber band and a screw to keep it closed on the other end. Now for the inside, we're going to use a $25 fluorescent UVC light from Amazon. I'll put a link in the description below. You only really need one of these. Um, I put two though, just for extra output on the sides. The reason I chose these lights is because I tested their output with a meter in the last video and their output was the strongest out of everything that I tested. And because the output is so strong, you really will only need to run this light box a minimal amount of time compared to other lights. Um, we'll put more information in the description below, but currently I'll run this light box for five minutes and I'm pretty confident that we will be sterilizing the objects inside the box. You can choose to glue double sticky tape or just screw into the cardboard and these lights come with mounts and also screws if you need that. If you want, you can add a cookie tray and that's nice to get the object up off the paint so that you can get a little bit of exposure time underneath the object as the light bounces around. Now most of these lights are coming with just a simple on and off toggle switch and that's what I recommend. There are other options out there where there's a timer and I had three of these with the timer and every one that I had with the timer broke. Um, the light never broke or the bulb always functioned but the timer stopped working so pick uh, the light options that don't have a timer on it. Since we don't want to operate this flat out all the time or too long um, because it can produce some ozone smell and gas and it can just burn out the light bulb quicker, um, you can use a simple egg mechanical type timer or I use a Wi-Fi switch and then inside my app I made a smart switch so that every time I turn it on it'll run for five or ten minutes and shut itself back off. So it depends on how I how I want to run it. I'll put a link below for the Wi-Fi switches I like to use because the app is very friendly and you can do some custom stuff that other switches won't let you do. Okay, a couple words of safety. UVC light is very damaging to your eyes and your skin so I'm gonna wear some safety goggles and I'm gonna put some long sleeve on before I film this because you don't want any of this light reaching your body. Now when you operate it, you should always have the door closed and you should never look at this blue light because it will be hurting your eyes. The way UVC works is it inactivates some of the insides of the virus and the bacteria. So you need that light to be exposed on the object. It won't work in the shadows, so make sure you spin your, your objects or you flip them um, halfway through so that it gets even exposure across any item that you're trying to sterilize. When your light box is done operating, you're gonna have some uh, ozone inside due to these lights, so you want to open the box and ventilate the room or the garage where you're operating this. So I just use it in my garage and I open the garage door for a couple minutes and air it out. In the last video, we measured the output of one light reaching the bottom of the light box, and that was 15 inches away and it received about 110 microjoules per centimeter squared. And there's a warm-up time on these lights, so if you turn them on, it's gonna take 20 or 30 seconds before they start to achieve their maximum output. So make sure you work that into how long you're gonna run your light box. So I'm up to five, maybe 10 minutes, sometimes more, and then I'll flip the objects and then I'll run it again for that same amount of time. And I know that's overkill, especially with two light bulbs, but it doesn't cost me much, so I just set it and forget it. Okay, so that's how you can build yourself a cheap $35, easy to make UVC sterilizing light box. 
If you found this video useful, please give us a like and a subscribe so you can watch more future videos like this one.